we're talking about flat earth. Most of y'all, you're, you're, you're probably already kind of turned off to this whole subject because you're like, how dare you believe in flat earth? Well, you know, kind of just take a second to hear us out. Is this necessary? Try to ignore everything you've ever been taught in school. The police! Uh, you're dumb! It doesn't make sense that we're just a ball floating through uh, an endless space, a vacuum of space. We're just, we're just floating and we're expanding constantly, constantly, and constantly. Are you okay? Oh, Jesus. Oh my God, are you all right? Inside of a massive universe with potential life and other galaxies and other planets, because then, you know, what does that make us? Like, are, are we really that important if, you know, there's potential life on other planets? Don't panic. Don't panic. I, uh... Man, man, I was a NASA fanboy. I loved outer space. I used to look at the pictures of the galaxies and the planets. And I mean, I used to love this stuff. You're kidding. Yes. And if you look at these pictures, you know, it's not that they're, they're not, they're not real images. Okay. So a satellite didn't take a snapshot like your phone can take a snapshot of, you know, a tree or something. It's, 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 it's composite data. Oh my. It looks like ones and zeros, and they kind of make sense of it, and they're like, okay, so this is what I think it took a picture of, and they kind of make this really nice picture, and they give it to you. Somebody created it, an artist created it, and if and this is not, I mean, I'm not just, this is not conspiracy. NASA admits this information if you look it up. What are you talking about? Yeah, they tell you, hey, we take composite data, we make a nice little pretty picture. Okay, we think this is what Mars looks like, so let's paint a little picture, and here you go. Oh, I don't think so, Scooter. <laughs> You know, I, I think it's I think it's fair to say that uh, NASA and these 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 space agencies they don't have actual hard evidence. They don't have actual pictures. The problem with a lie is once you start lying, you put yourself. I love space. Like I used to want a telescope. I used to want to, like all those type of things. Like I remember when I was little, I was like, "Yo, I'd love to be an astronaut one day." You're kidding, right? Um, so like this kind of just crushes that entire dream because you're like, wait, space isn't real then? Oh, but baby. <laughs> and so, you know, this is where, you know, we've, we've done a little, a little digging into the, the meaning of, of NASA. I'm getting too old for this shit. The, the original meaning of, of, of that term is actually to deceive or to beguile, to seduce, to lead astray. My God, this is an outrage. And yeah, it's nuts. If you look at the NASA logo, it's literally, there's a snake tongue on it. Fucking hell. Throw that on the screen for you. Yeah, yeah, it's, it looks like a snake tongue. I mean, you can't really deny that. I'm surrounded by idiots. Now you, Scar, I mean, you're one of us. I mean, you're our pal. It's easy for me to believe that people on, on the higher ups, right, these government agencies, they don't, they, they're not fans of God, right? They're not God lovers. They're not, right. not like we are, not like believers are. And so they, a lot of them, I believe a lot of them hate God. Well, oh, that's the story of my life. No respect. Tell her no respect. And so it's not far, it's not um, far-fetched far for me to think that, hey, these agencies are literally, literally exist for the sole purpose of telling people that are trying to, to discredit the biblical narrative. I don't get it. Why did a blathering buffoon like you honestly think he could come here and take on the power of the Dark Signers all by himself? 